My name is Kenneth Tharp. I was born in London and I've lived most of my life in London. The first thing I was taken to see when I was about three was a performance of Kiss Me Kate. And that was choreographed by one of the amazing um, modern dance pioneers called Hanya Holm. Later, in my first year in training as a dancer in London, I ended up doing a 10-day workshop with Hanya Holm. Things go full circle sometimes. I started dancing at the age of five. I was forced to cut back a little bit during O levels. And the idea of just cutting back, I was dancing four or five times a week, and the idea of just cutting back a one or two classes a week, I wasn't comfortable with that. And that's probably the moment when I decided this is what I want to do for a living. There is so much rigor, there is so much integrity. The idea of it not being a proper job is a ridiculous one to me. Um, yeah, uh, so I'd say yes, that working in the arts is every bit as rigorous as, as any other area of work. From the age of nine and a half weeks till seven and a half, I literally lived in Glasgow in Scotland. So I started life with a thick Glaswegian accent and then I lost that when we moved to Cambridge when I was seven and a half, after about six months. So although I'm London born in it, I feel like an honorary Scots person and, and I love going back there. But I would probably encourage my younger self to go actually just find your own pathway, your own unique pathway, especially in today's world. Everything's changed so fast that, that there isn't necessarily a pro forma for how you should do it. So I'd say trust yourself and carve out your own unique pathway. Perhaps if my younger self was looking at me and being generous, um, they might say, um, just be gentle on yourself. <laughs> um, don't try too hard. Um, and just carry on doing what you've always done, which is follow your, pa your passions, your curiosity, and enjoy what time you've got. <laughs>